is post-acute care enablement. It is a service that provides help with getting patients out from the hospital as soon as they are medically stable and then other services can be provided at home. The patients really still have uh, an ongoing acute medical and nursing needs, uh, but these could be met safely in the community and the patients no longer need to be in a 24-hour monitored acute medical center. The patient is medically stable for the yeah, medical stable. Medical yeah, stable. Okay. So I think we'll just put her there. With this patient, we, we treat them as if they're still in the hospital by providing them with all the necessary carers. It can be services that are sort of medical side or as well as therapeutic side, which require nursing, it can require occupational therapies, it can require a physiotherapist as well. You give the patients genuine choice because a lot of patients actually don't want to be in the hospital. They would rather have care if they can be delivered to the same quality and standards in an acute setting. They would rather receive it at home. So all the benefits getting from the hospital, they're getting it in their own environment. In the past, we very much work in silos. The acute trust, we just discharge the patient and we don't really know what goes on. We just discharge them to district nurses, okay, and we will let the GPs sort a lot of things out. But now we have lots of meetings with our community colleagues and so we really have a very truly integrated model of care. We actually work hand in hand with the members of staff in the community so we are one big organization. The patient then goes through a very seamless health system from primary care to secondary care. Patient when it's actually unwell, they come to the hospital. There's a medical actually sort of team in the hospital that get the patient stable. We actually sort of get the consent of the medical team and that the patient is medically stable, which means how his or her well-being can be looked after at home rather than in the hospital. After we assess the patient and confirm that they are suitable to go home with PACE team, um, then we will link in with the PACE finder. I as a PACE find, case finder. I go there, assess the patients, and see that if they're suitable to make sure that the patients are saved to be managed in the community. We will have to get the discharge yes. summary done, which is faxed to the GP straight away, to inform that the patient is going out with the PACE team. We have to get transport ready, and also to get the medication ready within a very short time, which is about two hours turnaround time for us. So it is actually a service that is safe, it is a service that's effective, it is a service that's worth investing into. I think PACE is genuinely the model of the future. It is important that we can definitely share very scarce resource between the primary and secondary care. It's good for the hospital because um, since PACE has started, uh, we can see that we are actually saving the bed. We are freeing the bed for patients that are really, really on, on stable. It will help the hospital to reduce the number of acute admission because the PACE uh, process can be applied down in a &E to support our admission avoidance um, uh, team there. And also it will allow us to reduce our length of stay. It's bringing all the services together to actually benefit the patient, which is actually sort of the most important thing.